The Wii, the only system where it's cool to start up on your home menu. I'm, I'm headbanging, I don't know if you can tell, but... Anyway, hello every kid in the world of today and tomorrow and every other time. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I know. So anyway, Sega made this game. Big surprise, a Sonic game made by Sega. What's oh, next? Yeah. What's next? Philips make a Zelda game. So anyway, we're starting up a, a new... Loop. Loop. No, it's an LP. I should have done this already, shouldn't I? I got a stereo sound, so I'll make use of it for no reason, even though the microphone is... I gotta turn this up as well. Okay, so we're just gonna start a new data, and we're just gonna leave it to the cutscenes. And then I'll start explaining things when we get into it. May I also say it's really static, these cutscenes. There are a lot more anime in the sequel, but... Wake up! It's him! Hey! It's him! <laughs> Boy, is it that late already? What time is it? It's 3.41. <laughs> huh? Huh? I'm not collecting it! You are the blue hedgehog! As opposed to all the other ah! blue hedgehogs. Wait, what? Do not be alarmed. I am Shara, the genie was... of the ring. Is he human? What? Aladdin in the Magic Land? Don't think I've read that. What? You what? You didn't read Aladdin or watch the movie? <laughs> yeah, I know. That was like 15 years ago. How about this? With 12. But that's beside oh, the point. I should have said something. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, I know. You bought a blank book. <gasps> I've been spotted. Is vanishing. Vanishing? But how? People are playing too many yeah. video games these days. Thank Thankfully, they're not trying to endorse people to read books anymore. Eraser or gin? Yes. He used his evil magic. Rubber tonic? I don't get it. He could not bear to so he uses his magic to make himself more powerful. Wow. And so he has begun to set the inscriptions free. Absorbing the power of the book itself. The power of the book? Yeah, no, right? If our world ceases to exist, then not only will those stories be silenced forever, but the Eraser Jinn will then be unleashed into your world. Dun dun dun. That definitely sounds like trouble. Oh, what really do you want me to do? I want you to stop him. Yeah. <laughs> you must stop the Eraser Jinn. Yeah, kind of figured Only that. Only you, the blue hedgehog, can do it. What about the white hedgehog or the black hedgehog or Someone the red echidna or, or the yellow like fox or the... It might even be fun. Well, yeah. This is all just something out of a storybook, right? How am I supposed to do anything about that? That's easy. You are my master. Um, As such, I am able to grant your wishes. Simple wishes, at any rate. Dang it. Bringing you into the world of the Arabian Nights is within my power. Here's one thing, what? she can grant simple wishes, but for the most part, you barely you use any of it. Place the ring on your finger. Ringa? Lord of the ring. Like this? This isn't any marriage, right? <laughs> Lightning! Take it easy. My apologies, O oh Master, but oh now master. the contract has been sealed. Contract? You must film five seasons of a bad TV show. I am now bound to protect you. Now, rub the ring. Oh, I hate buying on equip like, items. Like this? Can't trade them once they're bad. Master of the ring, what is thy wish? Seriously? Hot two! Hot two! How about a handkerchief for starters? Make that a few. Oh. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. You see, I caught this cold yesterday and... Please, be serious. Okay, okay. Thanks for the hankies, though. Oh, please, someone tell me that this isn't really happening. <laughs> Don't worry, oh. I'll change voice actors in a few games. Take me to this world of the Arabian Nights. Arabian Actually, I still Nights. think that he's in the same voice actor. Will you? My name's 
name's Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Very well then. Yeah, I think Sonic's voice is good. I, the legendary I, Hedgehog. Yeah. Because it was. Here we go. Into the world of the original no. Knights. Sure, okay. I do have some. Oh, the book match play shot. So anyway, this is how this is the game. It's an on rails kind of game. In which you follow Sonic. Tilting the Wii remote to the left and right. In tilting the Wii remote. So basically what you do is you hold the Wii remote on your side and you tilt it left and right to dodge things. Anyway, what you gotta do in this is you just gotta collect the rings. But basically, yeah. Now, people don't like this game. I don't know entirely why. I I know that from first impressions, it seems kind of crap. Because first of all, you're going. I literally I literally did that perfectly, and yet I still got a bronze. People would be going like, "Oh, come on! There is no skill to this. It's just completely false." And what is this? A level up system? What the heck is this? And what is this? Ah, crazy. But, um, I gotta explain it. Basically, just, just, just to say at the beginning of this, there are nine worlds in this game. You can access, like, 20 or so missions in each. This first one, The Lost Prologue, is a tutorial -y place. It only has, like, tutorial missions and whatnot. So basically, we're just gonna be in it for the first part or so. Or even we may even get to the next stage. But anyway, it's just going to teach us controls. Press the two button and release to jump. May I also just say it's a Wii exclusive. Yeah. I actually thought we were pretty privileged to have... You're not supposed to know that, by the way. You're not supposed to know how to do that. But considering we got Sonic and the Secret Rings and you guys got, like, Sonic 06. <laughs> we have the better Sonic games. And we got Colors too, yo. Well, we got the bad version of Unleashed, according to not everyone else. But anyway, yeah. So anyway, each one of these stages in the Lost Prologue is going to give us a thousand experience. The experience, basically, when you level up, you'll get new skills, and you'll also be able to use more skills, because you have to balance out these skills to make sure stuff doesn't happen. Now, I remember Chugga saying that with Super Paper Mario, it picks up by Chapter 3. This is kind of the same thing. It picks up when you get more skills and all, because right now Sonic isn't very fast. But it's to show the difference, the... Dude, I... Quickly move the Wii remote forward to perform a jump dash. Yeah, I know how to do a jump dash. Basically, yeah, people find the controls kind of awkward. I find it's only awkward when you're trying to move backwards, which happens a few times, unfortunately. Basically, when you're going forward, you just kind of use the two button to stop yourself and all that stuff. And then just lean back if you want to stop. I believe if you hold down one, yeah, one breaks, so... It's like a car, isn't it? It actually controls like a bad iPod game, I'm sorry. Like seriously, you know those driving games for iOS and stuff? We where in order to accelerate you don't touch anything it doesn't make much sense I mean it makes sense in the controls because it's kind of awkward with your fingers but if that's kind of what the system has gone to where you where it's awkward to have your finger on the screen at one time then it's awkward to have control isn't it anyway this game it works to its advantage because it's not a car driving game yeah, I know how to do this. Basically, now with the jump dash, you get the homing attack. So basically, all you gotta do is you gotta wait until the target is red. And you also gotta be at the right height, because otherwise it doesn't even tire to work. Get over here. No. It's, so yeah, basically, we'll just kind of leave this to be the straightforward tutorial. Now you may be going, we're going through the same environment all the time, what is there else to do?
basically it's just um it's just a bit bad at the beginning because you gotta sit through these tutorials. Well, I may as well have to say what I'm going for. I'm going for a bit of a speedy tactic because you get a prize if you manage to beat the game without getting to level 25. And if you stall on the one button to break. There you go. But yeah, if you if you do all the missions, you'll get a high level and you'll be pretty proficient. But like you won't you won't get this kind of bonus. It's basically just a page of the bonuses. And it's the only one that you can miss out on, so to speak. All the rest of them you can gather later in the game. Like you can just redo missions. Oh yeah, silver. Now will I be going for gold? Probably, but that's near end of game. I wouldn't be going for it. I might be grinding, I don't know. You never know. So anyway, pa paragraph six. Yeah, I know we're up to six already. This is kind of the awkward bit, where you have to tilt the wear remote back in order to walk backwards. It's slow and it's not recommended at all. So yeah, it, it will pick itself up. In fact, yeah, we're up to seven right now, so we'll get on to, we'll make this a bit of a longy part just to stall, stall very much, but yeah, one, go, I like doing, oh yeah, if you keep, if you tap two rather than hold it, you do like a short jump and it's actually the, the more efficient way to to get speed at the beginning of the game. Otherwise, then you, you start off with a lot of speed. Too easy. Oh, the snap of mission was unlocked. Yeah, you'll be hearing that a lot. You'll just keep hearing it. And this is the last one, just to let you know. This is the last tutorial mission. We sat through a lot. But you only have to do up to eight, and I believe... Three, two, I don't think you have to go back. There are more missions. On places that have squared edges. Oh yeah, now this is grinding. Tap two, and you kind of regain your speed. And you lean to the side, and you kind of jerkily avoid these. But other than that, yeah. And I somehow got a gold without any skill. Like, no skills. Hmm. Well, that's one mission I'm never gonna have to go back to. So, anyway, we leveled up. And we got a new skill. This is our first skill, it's called Ring Bonus. Basically, we start off with five rings at the beginning of a stage, which helps in those missions which don't have any rings at the beginning of the stage. The main stages, okay. so yeah, it doesn't matter in the main stages, but it just matters in those tricky missions Mr. like G. that one where I had to break. That's right. Can you take me to him? There is no need. What do you mean? He's here. Hi. Holy snap. Whoa. What's that all about? Talk about close shapes. Maybe you know where I can get my quills sharpened too? Sonic, that's him. He's the evil spirit who is striking the Oh, maybe this could be a one part LP. <laughs> you. You must be that blue rat that just got added to the story. Yeah, we you just saw the game like a bit ago. I'm a hedgehog. <laughs> I am a razor gin. I am the one who shall carve up this world as I see fit. Yeah, well, if you're I wonder if you can tell who the bad guy is. Sonic? Eggman. One hundred <laughs> of the one foul 
thousand and one nights have already been wiped clean. Oh, that's good. I'm tenth of the way there. The rest shall join them, night by night, and then. Well, technically, I've got like two and a bit years because if he's gonna do one each night, the seven world rings for you. Have you not? The seven world rings, not like the seven, the seven, the seven chaos emeralds or the seven whatever. I'd never get them to you. Maybe if I do something. Suitable punishment is in order then. Look out! Sonic! That took a fireball to the chest. <laughs> so this is how it stopped my adventure. Hmm. This should be interesting. You listening? No. Bring me the seven world rings before the arrow of flame extinguishes. The arrow of flame. You do hmm. not. So basically, here's the plot element. King Sharia? The king is the creator of the Arabian Nights and the main character of the story. With my speed, we'll just have to make sure we get to him first. Wait, he's the main character? Well, I thought Sonic was the main character. Well, Aladdin or whatever. <laughs> So anyway, we're going to jump on, I know, but we're going to jump on because each of these stages has, it starts off with a, pretty much go to the, the whole stage, stage, so to speak. And we're not going to sit through as many short missions at, for the most part. For the, for the most part, we'll be going to the main stages, such as this stage. Anyway, we don't have many skills, in fact, we've only got one, but we'll have like a hundred and something by the end of the game. So here's the first stage, Sand Oasis or whatever it is. First, let's find the king's palace. Yes, let's hurry. So yeah. Hopefully this will kind of get you into it. Oh yeah, and these shiny balls, they don't mean anything for the moment. They're pointless to pick up right now. You may be wondering why they're here, and I'm wondering that too. So don't bother collecting them, because they don't count up for anything. They're like rings. They're pointless by the end of the stage. At least in this game. Isn't that kind of weird how the, how the speed boosts... Why do they have speed boosts in... in Arabian Nights? I am so fast! Whoa, gosh, I don't know what happened there. Wait. Physics engine, go! May as well find it's weird how Sonic can only hold 50 rings. That's also part of the leveling up. Yeah! yeah. So I remember when this was being announced as Sonic Wildfire back in the old days of 2006. It's, it wasn't a launch title though, it came out a few months after. Yeah, you can activate some things. Oh, you're going to need special abilities for that. Oh yeah, here's something. So, you saw that thingy there? I think we'll be able to get one later in the stage. Um, that red thing is called a fire soul, basically you just collect them, and I believe they unlock a few missions and stuff, but they're also good for just collectibles later. Don't I miss? Right? There you go. Writing's good. Well, it's a bit impractical in the end again. Well, you can go on top of them go on top. Because pot. We have to spam the Wii Remote. So 
But don't worry, these stages get pretty cool by the end of the game. Totally not gimmicky. This first stage is cool, but it doesn't have a lot of super awesome elements. It's just it's trying to suck you in, but it doesn't have too much gameplay. The later stages do have a lot more, a lot more things to do and stuff. But it's a good introduction to the game, in my opinion. Now, will I ever play the sequel? Probably not, because I don't like it. I like this one, and people may disagree, but I don't like Sonic and the Black Knight, unfortunately. Do you like Sonic and the Black Knight? No? Okay. Oh no, I got this. Oh yeah. Off we go to see the Wizard of Oz. Or not. Anyway, for the most part you'll be getting bronzes, so don't worry about getting good times. You just want to get through the game quick. Anyway, you'll get a lot a lot more experience for doing these stages. Now you'll be getting like things every single stage. Anyway, this is the mini Tobo. This is what I was talking about. Basically, at the beginning, um, you just flick the wheel right forward and you get a speed boost at the beginning. And also, these special book things, that's mm. the collectibles. Yeah, I know. I know, big. Big part. And we got a cutscene too. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, too late? Huh? What's Dr. Eggman doing here? Aha! I knew it! This is all another one of your schemes! Nah. What is the meaning of this? I am Sharyar, king of this land! Eggman, what are you up to this time? Sonic, wait! You've been a naughty boy, Eggman! This is him! This is King Sharyar! Really? Such insolence! Guards, seize this blue spiky thing at once! Where are your men, your highness? Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. I should have remembered. The they all got killed. Everyone turned and ran. Oh, and they I ran. Having to hide in that jar. What a jarring situation. So anyway, you got the game. Well, well. Guess it's time for a little action. Even though we're not going to do any of this part because we all got to segue into the end of the part. That's it for this part. I'll see you kids next year. Four more. Sandoasis. Woo!